Hey, what's up guys? This is Guy here with KB Trainings where I share with you a lot of things that I do in my lab on my equipment. I just want to help you know IT, start your career or boost your career at a different level. So today I'm in my Fortigate and I'm going to show you how to configure trusted hosts. Trusted hosts are just the only host or the only subnets that are allowed to log in in your Fortigate. That's for a lot of security reasons. Let's say for example, this is our topology we've been using and this is the actual Fortigate that's between our internal network work and the internet of course to make any change on this fortigate you need to be logged in you need to be authenticated so what we have to do is make sure that not everybody can authenticate on this fortigate what we have to do of course first of all is that we need to create users we need to create administrators so we're going to create in this video an administrator named kb trainings He's also going to have a password, which will still be KB Trainings. This is just for demonstration purposes. Of course, I'm going to delete this. So beside creating the administrator, we need to make sure that only our computer or only the devices allowed in are able to log into this system using this user. So what we have to do then is create trusted host. First of all, we're going to trust our internal network, which is 192.168.254.0 slash 24. It's going to be accepted. And also we're going to allow a single device from our lab, which is the 10.0.0.3. This is going to be the only device allowed to be um, connected to this forty gate with this user. And let's say we are outside, for example, I'm at a friend's place and I need to log into my forty gate I need to also allow the IP from my friend's network, his public IP. In this case, we checked on ipchicken.com. I'm connected on this Mac to an external network. So I was able to check on ipchicken.com and found that my external IP is 73.95 dot 133.86 so this is the only ip from the outside that we are going to allow to authenticate on this computer i mean on this fortigate using this user so let's jump in the fortigate and move on with the configurations so now we are in the fortigate and we're going to create a new administrator so we go under system and click on administrator and of course we already have one user that i'm using right now which i am and we are going to create a new one so we go on create a new administrator and for the name we're going to name it kb trainings and it's going to be a local user of course you can use any kind of authentication server or remote server for that purpose. Um, so for the, fast, uh, for the password, I'm just gonna put KB Trainings. Let's take a quick look here to make sure it's correct. Of course, it's uh, an easy password just for the lab. I'm going to delete this user afterward. So don't try to get in. All right, so SMS, we don't have to. So uh, two-factor authentication, we don't really have to. It's just in a lab. Um, so let's go with restrict login. Um, Restrict login to trusted host. And we are going to activate that. And then first of all, we're going to insert our private subnet or my home subnet, which is 192.168.254.0 slash 24. And it's asking for the administra um, administrator profile. We use super admin, we click okay. And you can see that it's there created and the, our internal subnet is allowed to get in. So first of all, let's try to uh, log into this device using the new credentials or the new user. So the username is KB Trainings and the password is still KB Trainings and we click on login. You can see that we are able to successfully authenticate on this device. And uh, let's also try to authenticate from our lab computer which we created in our last video so we are opening rdp to that device and once we are in we're going to go uh, to the ip of the 40 gate which is the dot one you can see that we can get to it and we can get to it because my other user is a load on this device but if we are trying to use kb trainings credential on this computer you can see that it's not able to authenticate uh, we can try it a second time and give it another chance 
we can still see that it's not able to get anywhere. That's because this device is not allowed for that specific user. So what we have to do is, uh, first of all, let, let's check the logs and see that we have a message, uh, just a moment. Yeah, we actually have two messages showing that this user was trying to authenticate with uh, from this IP, but we were not able to allow that authentication. So uh, the IP was blocked, and that's why, I mean, the IP is blocked. That's why he couldn't authenticate. So let's go under the user and add that specific host, which is the 10.0.0.3 slash 32, because it's a specific host. And we are going to click on OK. And if we go back to the RDP, we can try now to log in. KB Trainings and the password is KB Trainings. Now you can see that we are able to log in successfully on the device. So let's close this. And if you go under the logs, we have a message, of course, confirming that we successfully logged in with KB Trainings from this IP. So this is what we wanted. So now let's go now let's go on the MacBook which is connected to our external network and see if we can get access to the device to the FortiGate. So I use kbtrainings.bisoku.net and of course I cannot see anything because I'm not allowed on any admin and I'm not able to find um, the login page so I can't even see it from from the GUI so what we have to do is come in here and make sure that we are adding the external IP to the trusted host so we click on KB trainings and we add that external IP which is 73 .95 .133. <laughs> That 86 slash 32. So now that IP is allowed, and if we go here and we refresh the page, you can see that we are able to have the login page right here. And if you go under advanced, we bypass the security <laughs> warning. So now we are able to see the login page, and we can log in with KB Trainings and password KB trainings and boom we are able to get access to the FortiGate from the outside so you can do this anywhere in the world as long as your IP is allowed on this device you won't have any problem all right that's it for today now you know how to configure a trusted host on the FortiGate if you want to know more about IT if you want to keep up with me with all the trainings and everything that I do please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to go on kbtrainings.com to see what I'm creating for you in order to help you in a career in the IT. Thank you for watching. Leave a question in the comment if you have any, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Take care and bye.